Gordon in the building. Let's go. Pennsylvania, sunny day. It's 49 degrees right now. Danny's sitting next to me. Say hi, Danny. Hey, Todd. Okay. <laughs> Who? Todd. Todd? Jan. Jan? I'm Fred. You're Fred. You're funny. I don't, we don't know anybody by the name. Here. Woo! Okay, there you go. <laughs> so, we are at our friend's Jake's house. He had a couple trees taken down <clears throat> last year, so we're going to go pick some of that up. Uh, bucket cut it we kind of quarter it because it's kind of large and I um, we quarter it or noodle it because uh, Danny ends up picking up and he is the uh, hoss aren't you Dan that fried here you're the hoss aren't you oh yeah yeah that's right you do all the haul of heavy lifting huh because dad's a weakling hey, Joe. no dad's got a heart condition so hey, I can't Joe. do that Wait, hey Joe have help. a great day that's what Danny's saying all right so but I don't I can't uh, really Shoot. twist this uh, I really can't twist this camera holder around too well too much because it, it ends up breaking off so anyway it's my third one I've been on we're gonna be taking this load we have a load right now our chain got dull this morning it was dull from yesterday but uh, letting the saw cool down and we're gonna end up taking this load over to our wood yard so uh, anyway we'll, we'll take you for the journey no we're not taking for the journey we're gonna uh, once we get there we'll see you at the wood yard okay Whoop. for those of you who are new to the channel sir certainly we want to welcome you thank you for your subscribers all the uh, uh, new subscribers that we have are up over we're getting close to uh, 700 subscribers we're trying to reach that thousand subscriber mark and we're gonna have some giveaways for our subscribers uh, at the thousand 
uh, subscribe, sub mark. So anyway, we're looking forward to that and we want to thank you for that. Thank you for the journey you're going on with us, uh, with Danny and myself. We are down to doing, or, or thank you for the, the time that you're spending with us and Danny and I and our journey that we're, we're doing in this firewood business. Right now, it's uh, even though it's a part-time thing, we spend a lot of time doing this part-time gig. So, I'm retired from the painting business, and uh, Danny, uh, what we did is we decided uh, when, when Danny was helping me with power washing in the last uh, five years, and when we sold that business, I asked Danny, Danny, what'd you want to do? And what'd you say? Firewood. Firewood. I said, firewood. Yeah, yeah so. Firewood in the morning. That's right. You can do firewood in the morning. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> we uh, we took some of the money and we bought a, a splitter, Easton made splitter, and it took 20 months for us to get our Easton made axes. Right now, it's not. Uh, it doesn't take as long to get that. I think they're down to six to eight months, I believe. Uh, the current um, fulfilling of any orders that you put in. So. Uh, we love the Easton made axes. We've had a couple nuanced issues with the axis. Um, the motor, uh, we had some issues with some of the connections on the motor. Uh, we had to get a couple things repaired, replaced on it. Uh, we actually got the motor replaced because we ended up getting a um, a key um, key start. So uh, rather than the pulley start, you know, this old guy is uh, it's getting hard to do a little bit things that used to seem to be every everyday ordinary things that you could just do but the older I get the uh, uh, the more challenging it becomes to do some of these things that you normally could have done anyway that's life that's what happens when you get older every day goes by every year goes by and uh, you just thank God that you, you wake up put your feet on the floor and thank heavens you got a floor to be able to put your feet on you know and a roof over your head that's what we're very thankful for so, anyway, we're going to be going down to our wood lot, uh, dropping off this load, uh, doing some, uh, uh, stay on the other side of the road, mister. That's what happens when you drive these country roads. But, uh, <coughs> where, where was I? Oh, we're going to, we're going to uh, just pile up the, the wood next to the, the uh, Easton Made Axis. That's where our Easton Made Axis is over there. Oh, well. Hey, I wanted to, to give you an update, or not an update, a, a new notice. We have a, um, a community event that we're going to be doing, uh, and it's open to any wood hounds that are out there. We are, uh, there is an organization called HOPE, H-O-P-E, and uh, it basically is like a Ronald McDonald house for people in, with cancer. I don't know if it's stage three cancer, stage four cancer, or whatever, but it's for people basically to get away as a retreat uh, to uh, basically settle in and uh, have a little bit of peace about them in a, in a nice, peaceful environment. Well, one of their major fundraisers is selling firewood, and they sell firewood by the cord, which we do not do. So. What we're doing is we are going to be going up to their place and we'll be uh, bucking up. Well, actually, all the wood they have is already bucked up, but we're going to be doing some splitting. Would love to be able to have a, a group of woodhounds go up and help us out. Um, Brad from uh, Firewood to Furnace will be there. Um, I don't sure who else will be. I hope that uh, hope that we can do that probably within the next few weeks. I believe it's either the first or second weekend in December is when the, we're going to be doing this. I know that's a lot of time people preparing for Christmas and all that, but it's here in Stewartstown. It's in the outskirts. It's in a country setting, um, actually up in the woods, and uh, they have several acres that they uh, that they have open. We're going to do a little bit of a video of the of the location, so uh, and show you what the facilities look like. I tell you what, it's a it's a heartwarming organization and what they do. And we hope to um, be able to support them much more uh, going forward. Many of you may know <coughs> that I'm also uh, president of local Lions Club. And the Lions Club uh, promotes and provi provides assistance for HOPE. 
Uh, it's a, it's like I said, a really heartwarming organization um, to give peace, um, a, a peaceful location for people with cancer to sit and relax and um, you know, kind of, uh, I guess, reflect on on what's going on with them. I know that my wife is a survivor, is a breast cancer survivor, so it, uh, it means a lot to us. And the lady that I currently work for has. Uh, cancer fairly bad and she's going through chemotherapy and radiation treatments and all that right now so I know that the, um, the psychological effects of cancer are just uh, just as bad if, uh, and horrific uh, to be able to think of what, what you want in life and what's, what's going forward and where's your hope so hope gives hope anyway I uh, wanted to be able to, uh, to share that with you so if anybody's available we'll give out We'll be giving out uh, more information about uh, the location and uh, uh, the date, which I believe, again, will probably be the first or second week in December. So.